11 and verse 12. St. John, the 20th chapter, verse 11 and verse 12. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And seeing setting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had laid. And I'd like to use for a thought today, the resurrection. Father, we thank you for this time. May speak to our hearts and our minds as we go into your word. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit says to the church, and we'll be so ever to give your name to praise. And the people of God said, Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The resurrection. 13 verses, and they said unto her, Woman, why weepeth thou? She said unto them, because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou, whom seeketh thou? She supposed him to be the gardener. Said unto him, Sir, if I have borne him hint, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I would take him away. And Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabonia, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, my disciples, and say unto them, I am ascended unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst said unto them, Peace be unto you. And
And when he had so set, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw him. Because of his resurrection, he came back like he said he would. And those that didn't believe, believed because they saw him. He showed himself. And when he had said this unto them, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. In other words, receive my spirit. Because personally, I won't be with you on the physical. Because I have to ascend back to the Father. But receive the Holy Spirit that's going to live in you. Amen. Through every up and down trial and tribulation, affliction or session, you see the Holy Spirit Amen. is going to live with you. It's going to teach you. Amen. It's going to encourage you. It's going to resurrect you. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. St. John 14, uh, verses 17 through 19, and then 26 and 28. Amen. Don't rush me. Take your time. <laughs> Amen. Even the rabbit took his time. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. Amen. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you because you have accepted him as Lord of your life. Amen. He has resurrected in your spirit. Amen. This is why you find out you can do a whole lot of things that you couldn't do before. Amen. <laughs> now you're trusting in God yes. and you leaning on him and his spirit abides in you. Amen. 18, say, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to come to you. He said, you call me, I will answer. I'm coming to you. And the reason why I'm coming to you, because you are mine. Yet a little while, and the world see me no more. But ye see me talk about the believers. Amen. Because I live, he should live also. Hallelujah. He said, I live. And because you're part of me, you're going to live when you even feel like you're dying. Amen. Hello, Amen. somebody. Amen, Amen. Amen everybody. Hallelujah. But the comforter, 26 verse, but the comforter, which is the Holy whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you. Not beat you. But he shall teach, teach you. All things. You ain't going to be no dummy in God. Amen. And bring all things to your remembrance. Amen. Whatsoever I have said unto you. He said that when you have the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be forgetful. Amen. Amen. You're going to remember him. Why? Because of the simple fact he lives in you. Amen. The Word knows the Father because the Word Amen. is the Father. Amen. And Jesus had to come to show himself to all of them that they may believe. But he went a little further. He started doing some miracles. 
He started healing and, and raising the dead. He started doing stuff that no natural man couldn't do. But he said, these signs shall follow you. Amen. That believe in my name, ye shall cast out devils. And if you drink any wicked thing, you get caught up with witchcraft, uh, oopy poopy doopy. He said, I will take care of you. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Let me park here for a little bit. Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. I'm going to leave the end you running because I ain't finished with that verse. Amen. I know some of you in a hurry, praise the Lord. No. But well, just, 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 just coast with me a little yeah. bit. He said, I'm going to teach you. When the Holy Spirit starts to teach you, he wakes you up when you sleep. Yeah. Body is tired. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit wakes you up because he want to some of you have realized that God said, wake you up in the middle of the night and say, go to Amos, or, go to John, or, or go to Nehemiah. Just, he's sending you there because he want to teach you something that you're getting ready to go through. Amen. 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 God don't let us go and stuff blind. Because warning always come before. Destruction. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, Y'all can talk. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, 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 when you know Bible and you hear Bible and when you start living Bible, hell gets upset because it can't operate through you like it used to. Because you're being taught how to overcome him because the great one lives in you. So he's going to teach you not some things, but all things. And he's going to bring all things to your remembrance. Everything you heard about God, everything you read about God, everything you sung about God. God. And when you heard other folk talk about God, it could have been 10 years, 20 years, or 10 minutes or whatever. The Holy Spirit brings you right back Amen. to remember it. Amen. And you'll find yourself with a smile on your face. Amen. Oh yeah. Because he brings back remembrance. Yes. And when he brings back remembrance, it gives you another avenue to learn a little more. Can I get away? Amen. Amen. So he says, for whatsoever I have said unto you, he said, whatever I said, that's why it's important. You read the promises of God. If you read them, he told you something. And when he told you, he's going to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Peace I leave Hallelujah. with you. He said, I'm leaving the peace with you. Not no 357. He's talking about the word of God. I'm not. I, 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 I'm not leaving no pistols with you. I'm leaving peace. Thank you, Lord. With you. But he said, my peace, I give unto you. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it to you. Because you're going to need it. Yes. Not as the world. Give it because the world don't give you no peace. Amen. Here, take your peace. Yes. Yeah, and peace you up to them. Amen. They have a way of doing things to your spirit and to your mind. Amen. He said, give I unto you, but let not your heart be troubled. He said, stop having spiritual heart attacks. Amen. Stop letting everything get the best of you. Amen. He said, you can't save me when your heart is heavy. Amen. Your heart has to receive what he says. And he said, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard now, I say unto you, I go away 
and come again to you. I think that is awesome by itself. Amen. That he's going to go away and he's coming back. Oh, I know you wait till the rapture take place. Amen. And time's going to allow us to, to give you the rapture, the now, and after. Because see, a lot of people don't realize that the rapture itself is a court up. That means you be snatched up. Amen. God pulls you up. Amen. And then after he pulls you up, we'll be with him for seven years. It's an excursion. <laughs> Amen. You went on excursion before. Black <laughs> City and where you went to the back and all that stuff. But this excursion is not like that. We're going to the throne of God. We're going to be there. He said, but the tribulation saints, the tribulation saints are the ones that's going to be left. Amen. You don't want to be left. Amen. Have you ever noticed you go to go catch a bus and look like the bus driver see you, but he keep going. Amen. Now, if you feel some type of way, you got to sit on that bench for another 45 minutes and you're upset, you're mad. But you got to get to what? My your destination. I ain't going to talk to you. My destination. To your destination. Well, the tribulation things are really going to go through. You think you go through now? They really going to go through. They're going to see the devil for who he is. He can transform himself. He can go through walls. He can be, he can be anything he wants to be. The whole thing is to keep you and through this, the mark of the beast, in order to eat, you got to have the mark either in your hand or in your forehead. It's called uh, the triple sixes. Not the nines, upside down, but the triple sixes. Why? Because that is the mark. It's all ready started. Amen. The Antichrist is here. Amen. They're bringing it into one world financial solution. Mm -hmm. Everything is done through cards now. Yes. Credit card, visa card, mm -hmm. debit cards. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. is card. Mm -hmm. The doubt means nothing. Mm -hmm. It's about mm -hmm. 33 cents now. A dollar. Uh, yeah. One dollar. And you look at that and you say, what's happening? Well, for the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that do not believe. Mm -hmm. Evidently, you believe that you're here today. Mm -hmm. And you didn't found out that you're special in God. Mm -hmm. Can I get away? Amen. You ain't on the yellow bus. Amen. Praise the Lord with a helmet on. Look in your tongue at people. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You've been delivered from that. Amen. Hey, oh, y'all ain't going to talk to Amen. me. Amen. You might have thought that and didn't do it, but yeah. the thought was there. <laughs> Satan was messing with you then. But let's look how God <coughs> speaks to the believer. He be speaking to you visions, dreams, yes. through his word through the preaching of the gospel, through the teaching of the gospel, through songs. Yes. Or he may visit you personally himself. Mm -hmm. Have you ever shut yourself in? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about fasting and praying and shutting yourself in. You just separate yourself from folk because you just want to get that closeness to God. Yes. And when you get that closeness to God, there is a difference in you. You'll find yourself rebuking yourself. Yes. Because flesh want to do what it want to do. It's called selfies. Y'all know what they are, right? Yes. Selfies. And that's what it is. Self always getting in the way with God talking to you. Amen. 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 Somebody. So, he says, ye have heard how I said unto to you, I go away and I come again unto you. 
And you got to look at this. The reason why he left you in the spirit, because he never wants you to feel that you are alone. He's so close. You say Jesus here, huh? That's how close he is. Oh, yeah. But see, our tribulations, our trials, our sickness, afflictions, do like an override when we call him because we're too busy hollering and screaming at what we're going through. And he's saying, I am that voice that's quiet. And I'm waiting on you to calm down so I can break this evilness that's trying to befall Hey Amen. Don't rush me, please. Don't Take rush me. Time. I, I, I just feel the Holy Spirit in here. Amen. 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 And I know you know, but this is the resurrection. Yes. That's why I thank God for, for Jesus. Yes, yes I yes. do. Yes. Yes. The brother said to me, he said, my, he said, Pastor, the brother Pastor, he said, how can three people be in one? I said, I said, look at you. I said, your brother, your father, and your husband. He said, I never looked at it like that. He said, Jesus, all that. I said, he's more than that. Yes. He's God the Father. He's God the Son. And what? God the Holy Ghost, a trinity in one. They both have different characteristics. Amen. One spirit. Everybody pulls love Amen. That's true. Some of you buy friendship. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Come on, I'm going to breakfast. Or come on over to my house. They cook exactly what you want, but you ain't got no jelly. That's going to start an argument. Because they're going to talk about you. You say, like, that, that so and so drop. Uh, her name's so and so now? Yeah, that's either so and so now. Oh, how was the rest of the food? The food was good. But she ain't had no jelly. You picking? I ain't picking. I want a jelly. I want to preserve it. So they didn't put your name out there. Talked about you. Saying you're buying friendship, but you didn't have no jelly. Let me tell you something. You keep on trying to friend up with somebody. In order to win somebody, you got to be friendly. Amen. You have to show yourself being friendly. Hello, how you doing? Sun is shining. God bless you. Take care. And they looked at that and said they didn't ask me nothing about their business. They said nothing to me about Jesus, but they are a nice person. So that's an invitation for them to receive you again. And when they receive you again, they're going to ask you, what do you do in the course of a day? And then you tell them, well, from the hours from 9, 12, 3, and 6, I have a meeting I have to go to. Well, what kind of meeting you got to go to like that? I got to meet God. Amen. You meet God every three hours? Yes. I say, yes, it keeps me in line. Amen. Because if I didn't meet God and like that, I Smack the fool out of you trying to talk to me. Hello, somebody. You, 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 let me tell you something. Some of you don't realize that the enemy always attacking your what? Your what? Your character. And your anger. 
and your attitude. He always on that. Yeah. Some of you wake up for that. You want to you, you choke somebody. Or you, but I don't want to tell somebody a piece of my mind. Don't tell them a piece. Keep what you got. Because you're going to need it. Amen. 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 So, if the world hated you, he said, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Amen. He said, it's easy to fall into stuff. He said, but when you stop and ask the question to yourself, should I go right? Should I go left? Lord, lead me. And the Lord say, no, back up, turn, and go back. Amen. And you find out Everything started to happen because you was obedient. Amen. When I look at what the happened to them houses and stuff in Tennessee, the wind blew the roof off them, killed them and crushed them, took a whole community out. See why? These are the last and evil days that we are living in. And listen, Satan ain't even playing with his own. He turns on them. And just like he turns on them, he turns on you. It ain't them he want. It's you he want. Because Amen. you're competition. <laughs> See, you can reach God. He can't. That's why he's always going back and forth to God, telling God what you've done or what you doing. He keeps throwing up old pictures to God and old pictures to you. But you find out you don't have no new pictures because you've been living right. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. So if if you were of the world, the world will love its own. Think about it. When you're doing what they do, you my boy. Hey, cuz. What's up, family? Uh, that's, my, that's my homie. Yeah. My name is Jerome. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Shut your mouth. Jerome is in the house. Y'all cool because y'all really got the same spirit. But because you love Jesus, persecution is going to be knocking you upside the head. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and during the church, and when people first get saved, a lot of them not taught and trained about persecution. Because mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah. as soon as it hit, they don't know. They run and go right back to the world. So and they stay out there and get beat up, get drunk, get messed up. But they stay out there because they don't know how to fight the devil. Amen. Know your opponent. Amen. Yeah. Fight him with everything Amen. you got. If God said you are a winner, Amen. work with God and right. give you. So, if the world, if you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world. But I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Because you've been chosen out of the world, people that was your best friend, people that do all your business, people that know all about you and your family, all of a sudden, they hate you because you started coming to church and carrying the Bible and talking about Jesus. Amen. Now, is it that bad? And you'd be talking about, I don't know if I want to salute or sit down. You got to know the difference. And the question is asked Are you going to stay with him? The same chapter said, If you abide in me, I'm abiding you. He said, stay connected, stay in the vine. If you stay in the vine branches, you get nourishment and you can grow. Amen. Then the leaves come out, birds come, 
and they sit right on the branch. And it's amazing that a bird can bounce on the branch and it break. Why? You're not getting nourishment. The Bible said men gather them and burn them. You been burned before? Oh. Oh, you been burned before. But the Lord said, I'm the healer of the burner. Amen. And since I'm the healer of the burner, hold your head up and let's get to moving. Because you got work to do. Amen. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Plain and simple, they hate you. So when you know folk hate you, you ain't got to get just no um Lord have mercy. <laughs> to get along with them. Amen. You see them for what they are. And 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 if you ain't careful, you'll become worse than them. Amen. That's why you gotta stay in prayer. Prayer changes things. Yeah. Yes. It'll change you if you let it. Mm -hmm. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Why do a lot of people think they know more than Jesus? They did no more than God. Well, God, look, I'll catch you later. Look, look, at the beep. Leave your name. Now, who you talking to? You don't talk to God like that. Give me an email, God. He even gave you an email. You don't talk to God like that. That's, that's total disrespect. He call it. You don't talk to you. Each time you come up to the set, is he talking to you? Amen. You can still say, no, he's talking to her. He's talking to that one. He's talking to that one. No, he's talking to you. The message is for you. Amen. It's how you take it. You know what we're well, he hoop and hoop. Hoop law. Listen to me. Hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. It's all scripture. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So remember the word. I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. And I have seen more people think they know more than God. Or they can just put God on delay. So I'll get back with you. But right now I want to take care of this. What are they telling God? I don't want you now. I want to sin. That's what they're telling you. Well, 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 well I, I know it's Bible study. But I got this I got to take care of. Okay. What is healing delivery? Oh, I don't need it. I'm all right. Wow. Well, it's Sunday. I'm tired. Whoa. <laughs> you disrespect God's presence when you talk like that. And then when you talk like that, you call curses upon yourself. When God sent you to preach or teach or to be saved or to walk or put you in ministry, that is your job until you get to eternity. Amen. You can't be taking no breaks and layoffs or feeling some type of way all the time. All the time. Now move, God. Who are you talking to? He said, I will bless them that bless you. And I will curse them that curse you. So if he's going to curse them that curse you, why are you cursing God? By disrespecting him. And don't tell me he don't talk to you. You got to be I B L E. It's called basic instructions before leaving earth. You're going to leave here. But do you have a Bible to keep you rock steady until he comes? Amen. That, he's saying, I'm talking to you if you open it. Yes. And when you open it, I'm going to talk to you. Yes. I'm going to tell you who I am. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes. Amen. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to hurry up, but... I don't want to rush this because I 
want you to go to St. John 17. This is really the Lord's prayer. I, I, I got into that. Can you give it to me in the NLT, please? The New Living Translation. Amen. Praise God. And he was saying something that just shook my spirit and it's still shaking it. How Jesus talked to his father about us. Yeah, John 17. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me, praise the Lord. Just give me, a, I was going to say all of it, but time won't allow me to, to do all of that. But um, just start at the first verse. I know that's right. <laughs> Take your time. Start at the first verse. Right. Y'all just going to have to hop out a little slow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Talk to me. Uh -huh. after, after saying all these things. Turn your mic up. Turn on. I'll get that one over there. After saying all these things. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, He looked up to heaven and said, What? Father, Father, the hour has come. The hour has come. His time has come. Uh -huh. Glorify your son. Glorify your son. I mean, your son. Uh -huh. So he can give glory back to you. So I can give it back to you, God. You give it to me, I'll give it back to you. Whatever you give me, I give it back to you. Because I love you. I am you. Talk to me. But you have given him authority over everyone. Look, Jesus has the authority over Everyone. The Muslims, the atheists. Yeah, the Christians. The kingdom folk. The saints, the ain'ts. Everybody. The wannabes, everybody. Uh-huh. For you have given him authority over everyone. Come on. He gives eternal life to each one. Uh, 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 he gives eternal life everyone. Yes, sir. He said, you can drop dead now, Fred, but you still have eternal life. Amen. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Pastor? The paradox of the resurrection. That means it is confusing to people, but it's God's way of living. Remember at, at at when they had the wedding? Mm -hmm. All the wine was gone. Yes. And Jesus said, uh, Jesus looked at her. And they run to Jesus. But his mother said, whatever he say. Yeah. Oh, somebody must have read that. Because eh? <laughs> y'all 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 hear is like, do it. <laughs> I said, okay. Whatever he says. They said, mm. he didn't say the best for last. <laughs> but well, that toe cake in that ripple <laughs> ain't good as this stuff Jesus gave us. Because they got it. You can always tell a person you need to do I watch y'all in communion. Oh my God. <laughs> tell them but anyway. They said he saved the best for last. In other words, who is this man that performed miracles like this? Now see, you gotta have a relationship to do what he do. Read. He gives the eternal life. To each one uh -huh. you have given him. Uh -huh. And this is the way to have eternal life. But now, here's here scripture. This is the way to have eternal life. Uh huh. To know you. To what? To know you. To know you. So, in order to know you, I got to have a relationship yeah. with you. Uh huh. The only true God. The only true God. Uh huh. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, uh-huh. The one you sent 
to earth. The one you sent to earth. Uh-huh. I brought glory to you here on earth. Yes. Did you hear? Yes. Hear what he's saying? I brought glory to you here on earth. In other words, I did what you told me to do. Mm -hmm. That's why in the garden he said, this cup, it's a heavy cup. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, Never. let thy will be done. Yeah. Uh-huh. By completing the work you have, you gave me to do. It's completed. It was finished. That's why he said on the cross, it was finished. I didn't did it. Into thy hands I commit my spirit. Take me, Lord. Uh-huh. I want to go back. And he went back home. That's only for a little bit. Uh-huh. Now, Father, mm -hmm. bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. That's what he said. Bring me back home. Bring me back to uh, 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 back in glory. Where, 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 what? Where the glory we shared. The glory we shared. Before the world. Before the world was even thought about. Him and the Father in glory all the time. Yes. You know, no, no. Clapping, dancing, and singing, all that stuff. They didn't do all that. They had a glory. They, they just loved one another. When Adam, in the garden, he went up here doing the Tootsie Rolls. No, he wasn't doing all that. He wasn't speaking in gums. He wasn't doing none of that stuff. He had a relationship with God. He talked to God. Amen. And when he talked to God, and when he talked to God, God gave him instruction. Amen. <laughs> and the instructions were work. Not a woman. He gave him work. Look like I'm trying to pour a gallon into a pint. It's just gonna have to just bust today, okay? Amen. It's gonna have to bust. Okay. Overflow. Yes. He said, I give him work to do. And his job was to work, and he gave him dominion. He gave them authority. He gave it to him. Now. Question was asked. Why did he give him Eve? Did he? It's quiet in here. <laughs> did he give Eve? Adam looked, and the Bible says he saw something that he liked. She saw something he liked. But it wasn't until Satan got in there, messed everything up. So God said, multiply. <laughs> and when they multiply, because God was still looking for the righteous seed. Oh, yeah. So, this is why. When God gave him work, he had something to present to her. She came in because she's a what? Help. Help. Oh. Oh. You want to preach this? Okay. He gave her to help me. To help him. Because you can't do it by yourself, people. Amen. Amen. So, it went on. And we knew about Cain and Abel and the story going on. But even through the Old Testament up to the New, they was talking about the Messiah coming. Mm -hmm. Prophecy was coming, coming. And over in the New Testament, he said, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. And since I'm here, I got work to do. Mm -hmm. It took him 30 years to deal with three years of his ministry. And in his ministry, when you read, you see the power, you see the miracles, you see the suffering, you see the pain, but you see God's glory. And that's what he's saying here. He said, we were together, Father. I want that back. I could breathe the work here. 
I want it back. Read. I have revealed you mm -hmm. to the ones you gave me from this world. The ones you gave me in this world. Because he was the light. He came in and those that received the light, they came to him. And since they came to him, he said, I, look, they receive you, Father, just as I receive you. Uh-huh. They were always yours. They were always yours. Mm -hmm. You gave them to me. Mm -hmm. You gave, see, that's personal. You gave them to me. And I teach them. I spent time with them. I even washed their feet. I gave them bread to eat. I even took the one that I loved and gave, made him treasure over the funds of the disciples. And he lit up his heels because he had the spirit of more money, more money, more money. Uh huh. And they have kept your word. They kept your word. That's why you got to keep his word. You that keep his word, it seems like ain't nothing moving in your life. And it seems like ain't nothing happening in your life. Uh-uh, uh. You are shaking the gates of hell when you do what God tell you to do. Uh-huh. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. Come on. For I have passed on to them mm -hmm. the message you gave me. Mm -hmm. The same as I'm passing on to them. What you gave me, Father, I'm giving it to them. Amen. Can you think if Jesus would have just took his time and said, I don't be bothered with him? Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't act like Moses. God said, Moses, go to the rock. They're thirsty. They, 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 man, they're going to die of thirst. They're going to be sick of all of them. He, he went off. And God said, you're going to miss the promise, man. I'll let you see it, but you ain't going in it. Wow. You're disobedient. Even a man of faith like that. Uh-huh. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you. Everything I have. And don't they so. You got some jealous folks watching y'all. I said you got some jealous folks watching y'all. Everything you have is from God. And God going to keep on giving you because you're going to keep thanking. Thank you. They're going to get jealous. Uh-huh. For I have passed on to them the mm -hmm. message you gave me. Mm -hmm. They accepted it and know that I came from you. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. and they believe you sent me. They believe, and that's the most important thing that we believe that the Father sent the Son. And the Son gave his life that we will have life and yes. that more abundantly. Yes. Uh-huh. We are kingdom folk. Amen. Uh-huh. My prayer is not for the world, mm -hmm. but for those you gave, you have given me. Hey, wait, wait, wait. My prayer is not for the world. No. It's for those you've given me. Because the world is doomed. It's going down. It's going to be destroyed. It's a new heaven. A new earth is coming. So, he's saying, I don't pray for that. A lot of people are praying for the world. I don't know what they prayed for Michael, Michael Jackson to live. I said, he got to find his other glove and get his house together. <laughs> beat it. And that's what happened. He didn't beat death. And we look at it. We, we pray for stuff we have no knowledge of. He said it. Jesus said, I pray not for the world, but those that you have given me. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Because they belong to you. They belong to you. I'm um, just the instrument. Uh-huh. All who are mine belong to you. All who are mine belong to you. Uh-huh. And you have given them to me. You gave them to me. See, that's one thing about God. When he gives you something, he said, I want you to take care of it. Amen. I don't care if it looks a lot. Just take care of it. Amen. 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 Some of your Bibles are so clean because you don't use them. Some of it is so mocked up because you're all up in them. Amen. People grab my Bible and say, look, I'm in a them. You got it. I say, I'm writing them, talking. He talked to me. Running reference. Man. Amen. And I put a little yellow over there. I can't use the blue, but I like the yellow. The yellow just brings out stuff under the red. Y'all yeah. no, Bible scholars know what I'm talking about. Amen. Some of y'all tell me, huh? 
You got the comic book. So it's important that we understand that leave Ebony alone. She can do she can do good by herself. Amen. Okay. Come on. So they bring me glory. They bring me glory. And that's what God looks for is glory. Uh huh. Now I am departing from the world. Uh uh. He said, I, I, I gotta go. He said, I gotta go. And since I got to go, they going to be here. Yeah. Uh-huh. They are staying in this world. And you keep trying to get the glory. You keep trying to get away from what he called you to do. Stop backsliding. Amen. Stop lying. Amen. Get yourself together. Amen. You only got one life. Amen. How you living? Amen. How you living? Check yourself. Examine yourself. You gonna find out you ain't all that in the bag of chips. Got to still. Oh yeah. Check it out. Check that out. Uh huh. But I, but I am coming to you. Uh huh. Holy Father. But I am coming to you. Uh huh. Holy Father. And that's what we're supposed to do. Go ahead. You have given me your name. Now protect them by... Hey, look, look. You give me your name. Mm -hmm. You know what that means, right? Mm -hmm. Say no like that. Mm -hmm. When he told, go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Mm -hmm. He said, what is name? <laughs> you tell him I am that I am. What kind of name is that? Mm -hmm. I took his stuff with that, but that's a name. That's a name. In other words, just his name alone will make you think and who and what you dealing with. Uh-huh. Now protect them by the power of your name. Of your name. Just your name. Just protect them. Yes. Even demons tremble at the name of yes. Jesus. Amen. Yes, you don't believe me. It works. Amen. So when the devil be telling you, come at you, in your mind, your thought at you, the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I mean, you ain't got to get all crazy and worldly like this. Say the blood of Jesus. That got all crazy. It's the blood of Jesus. Amen. If they don't move, you move. Uh-huh. Protect them by their, your name so that they will be united just as we are. Uh-huh. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. During my time here. Listen to what Jesus is saying. During my time here. I protected them and what? By the power of the name you gave me. By your power, the name you gave me. What he's saying, he said, you covet. I got you. I got you. Amen. Stop getting tired and giving up and putting up the white flag. Put it down. You are the peace. And when you walk through the valley of the shadows of death, hold your head up. He didn't just have one across just to be hanging there. Uh-huh. I guarded them so that not one was lost. Hear that? I guarded them. He protected them. While they slept, he guarded them. He protected them. But something else happened. And what did he say? Except the one headed for destruction. He was headed for destruction. And? As the scripture foretold. Now the scripture backs it up. What did this boy did? Talk about Judas. You know, Judas and Cain got a lot going together. One's a thief, suicidal. And the other one's a murderer. Mm -hmm. They're first cousins. I'm talking about in the spirit of evilness. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. And the same spirit is here today. On, it lurks. And the reason why it lurks, because he don't want you praying. He don't want you talking to God. But Jesus and his father relationship was so heavy that Jesus said, my 
God, why have thou forsaken me? That was his flesh talking to him. He was in pain. He was in agony. But Jesus let him know whatever it takes for those talking about us that hate him and left him, disrespect him, I'm going to die for them. Because my father is sending a heavy damnation on this earth. Uh huh. Now I am coming to you. Mm -hmm. I told them many things while I was with them. I ministered to them. I talked to them. I spent time with them. I gave them your word. I lived in front of them. I performed the miracles. I did these things, Father. He's talking to his father. What he done? Uh huh. While I was with them in this world, mm -hmm. so they would be filled with my joy. That they would be listen filled with joy. Have you noticed as you go and do stuff, you don't feel no joy? But the joy is already there. All you got to do is just look up and say glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It works. It's real. Any believers in the house. Amen. And if you're a believer, you're going to know the difference. Uh-huh. I have given them your word, mm -hmm. and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world. They don't belong. You see, where you used to, you ain't no more. Amen. <laughs> you know it now. Nah, you can't go back out to the clubs and bars and the place you used to be and talk about give me a give me a give me a twenty five cent drink. They may ask you, "Is you drunk already?" <laughs> now here you won't. Right. <laughs> you got to pay. Amen. Amen. Listen, Amen. things change. Yes. But sin don't. Amen. Sin is a killer. Mm -hmm. God said, I love the sinner, but I hate what they practice. Amen. He said, I cannot bless them or deliver them or take them out. Why? Because the way you're living. Yes. Uh huh. You're getting ready. I have to get. Come on now. Just as I do not belong to the world. Right, right, right. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world. Don't take them out. I mean, brothers in prison, he was saying, man, I'm saved now. I'm going to cut my wrist. I'm going on the glory. I said, you ain't going to glory like that. Wait a minute. Let me explain something to you, my brother. He said, what, brother? I said, that's suicide. He said, well, I'm saved now. I said, yeah. You saved in hell. <laughs> he said, huh? So I explained. To him, he said, I didn't know that. He said, But I'm just tired of this, boy. I'm tired of all this stuff. I don't want it. He said, Don't be calling me, man. I said, Jesus calling you too. You hear me? He said, I'm here. I said, Get saved. Come to Jesus. He said, Man, you got a lot of stuff. He said, I got a lot of stuff. I mean, listen to what I'm saying to you. He said to me, You know what? I believe you. I said, He says, You believe. Take these scriptures and read them. Amen. Now start living them. This is going to be a change in your life. Amen. See, see, see. We can quote scriptures. We can do all that talking. But when you start living them, it'll seem like your own self turns on you. Because it ain't used to divinity. It ain't used to it. But this is why when you spend time in prayer, Shut it. Fasting and seeking God. Not people. Seeking God. There's going to be a difference. And when you notice the 17th chapter of John, Jesus was talking to his father. He was seeking his father. Don't they want? Isn't that amazing? See the character of Richard's there? Uh huh. But to keep them safe. Uh huh. But to. But to keep them safe hey, from the evil one. Uh huh. They do not belong to this world. They don't anymore. belong to this world anymore. Anymore. Amen. You can't go back to the old stuff you used to do. Amen. You can't go back and do the dog, the kangaroo, the monkey, and the gorilla. You can't dance like that no more. Amen. Amen. If you know it's in the world, you got to have a partner. In Christ, you don't got to have no partner. You can get back to that witness. Amen. So it's a difference. You say you don't belong to the world no more. And this is what happens to people that leave God, go back in the world, and can't fit. Amen. 
and get an attitude. And the boy said, man, this dope is good. You talking about, you think, I don't feel nothing. You know why? God ain't going to let you have no pleasure Amen. in sin. Amen. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, you know, and that's when the devil started to minister you. Play on numbers. You know, they hit, hit, you hit, you hit, you hit, no, you hit. Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not play no numbers. <laughs> Amen. And these are things you gotta know. Amen. Driving them horses crazy. Yeah, they driving them crazy. Great parlay. Yeah. What, what number is that out there now? Seven? Yeah. Put 23 on it. Yeah. My mother came to me last night in a dream. Look, stop. She ain't come to your dream. She's dead. She ain't come back to you. The demon came to you. And Satan will bless you to keep you. Come on. Keep you dumbfounded to what God is saying. Amen. I'm talking about resurrection. Oh, you got to be resurrected up in here. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, man. You got to get resurrected. Amen. You got to get out of your box. Hello, somebody. Amen. Uh huh. They do not belong to this world That's any right. more than I do. Mm -hmm. Make them holy by your truth. Make them holy by what? Your truth. Your truth. Folk, we talking about telling the truth. They can't handle it. You know why they can't handle it? It's because the simple fact, truth has power. Amen. Oh, yeah, it has power. And the power is, it'll set you free. Amen. You got to want to be free. Amen. 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 You're a free slave. No, you ain't. How you going to be a free slave? You got to make up your mind. Yes. Talk to me. They do not belong to this world. They do not. The devil gets in his vices too, you know. Well, yeah, I know. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Some of you, I know I'm hungry now. I'm just sleepy. So hungry, you'll take care of him later. Tell sleep, you get to a little later. You're going to be out here. Amen. What is the message going to get out? I told you I had a gallon poured to a pint. He gonna come in kind of way he want. Amen. 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 Talk to me. Make them holy by your truth. Uh huh. By your truth. Come on. Teach them your word, which is truth. Teach Amen. them your word, which is truth. That Bible is true. Have you ever noticed when you go to read something in the Word, you say, "Well, I don't want that right now. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't ready for that." Uh huh. And you run over to the New Testament. The same thing you run from right there to. Oh, look, I, I, I'll catch it a little later. And you go sit down and turn TV on and the preacher say the same thing you running from. Mm -hmm. Or somebody call you on the phone and say, let me share this scripture with you. I ain't got time. The baby's crying. Uh, you you running and God said, I'm trying to tell you something. Amen. The best time to pray is when you don't want to pray. Amen. The best time to read is when you're too busy doing nothing. I say busy doing nothing. That's the best time. Amen. Yeah. Right? I rebuke you. Talk to me. Just as you sent me into the world, mm -hmm. I am sending them into the you world. You see, I'm sending you. Yes. Every, every last one of you. Use Amen. us. us, us, us. Amen. Sending us Amen. back into the world. He brought you out the world. And the reason why those that he bring out of the world if they don't stay with God, they try to get back into the world, and the world say, listen, listen. Every time you come around, you blow my high. Yeah. Something different about you. I don't like, I don't like. No, wait a minute. It's your anointing. That's right. Your anointing shatters things. Folk don't like truth. And the anointing is truth. Oh, yeah. You can pray in your house. I don't care what kind of demons you got in there. You can pray in that house. They're going to leave. They're going to go outside. So on a step around the corner, they're going to go somewhere. And when they come back, they're going to listen and see if you're still praying. If you're still praying, they're going to go. They ain't come back till you finish. But when they do come in there, they're going to feel unsettledness. Amen. They feel a lack. 
Oh my goodness. What's up in here? Well, you didn't clean a lot of stuff out. The scripture says when an unclean spirit leaves a man or woman, it roams through what? Dry places. And it find not Oh, somebody read with me. Praise the Lord. So, start to spend some time in prayer. Yes, sir. Amen. And stop playing with God. Amen. Some of us don't really know who God is. And the only way you're going to know who he is is when you spend time with him. And that's what the Father, that's what Jesus was saying to his Father. He said, you gave them to me, and I'm giving them back to you. He said, I'm coming back home, but they staying here. They don't like that part. I want to go with you. He said, no, 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 no. He said, they ain't going to believe me, but they'll believe you, but you should drink wine with them. You should go with them. You should hang out with them. You was the, you was the master at the party. Now you're going to talk about Jesus. They're going to say, wait a minute. Uh, 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 am I making sense? Yes, yes, am I taking too long? No. Cause ask me, do I get? Uh huh. Tell me something. Uh huh. And I give myself as ho a holy sacrifice. Did you hear that? A holy sacrifice. Mm -hmm. For them, so they can be made holy by your truth. So they can be made holy by your truth. He's a, he's setting an example for us. Uh huh. I am praying not only for these disciples, uh -huh. but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. Listen, now you see where the message comes from. It comes from him to you. He said, he said, listen, he said, when you give the message to them, that they stay and believe. Jesus said, the only way you come to me, you got to believe. A lot of people say they believe, they don't believe. Because belief is action. Yes. What kind of action are you putting out there? Wow. Like you say you're Christian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You say you're Christian. I didn't say you were You said you was. I'm a believer. Amen. I'm a follower. Amen. 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 I was from the kingdom. Amen. Used to be from North Philly. Amen. I was from the kingdom. I found out something. <laughs> I think you better read, man. I am praying not only for these disciples, uh -huh. but also for all who will ever believe in me oh, through their message. Mm -hmm. Through their message. Uh -huh. I pray that they will all be one. Be one. Just as you and I are one. Mm -hmm. As you are in me, so, Father. So, 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 so. <laughs> You're looking for oneness. Yes, sir. Why can't there be a oneness in here? Amen. Some of you got attitudes of one another. Amen. Oh, Amen. that's it on the other side. No, Some of you don't look at one another. And don't even know one another. Amen. You're going by what somebody said. Amen. Who talking to you? All right. I don't worry about that. That was just my yes. That's just temporary. Hey. Hey, Amen. Time for a new one. So he said, a oneness. Yes. We are the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Why is there confusion? The question, the whole question, right here. Why can't we really love one another instead of putting up that phony love? God bless you. And you say, that is love. Pray the Lord. Wait a minute. Come on, sir. Talking right. That's not a oneness. No. Nope. you know. Oh, he danced around here with the little shoes on her feet too big for that. Hey, the way you talk, them her feet, them her shoes. Amen. If they hurt, take them off. Amen. I know it's going to be hard to put them back on, but that's only right. Some Johnny slipped it. Something got them anyway. Hey, praise the Lord. I'm talking about 
talk about being one in the body of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so much confusion. Yeah. That's why the, the world don't want to be bothered because they want you. Right. Come on. You see, let me, he in the church, he cussing more than a sailor. Y'all got, got cussing Christians here, don't you? So, no, he said, that one. <laughs> that one stay drunk. <laughs> he be having communion all the time. <laughs> All the time. And he always trying to get me to come to communion. Wow. See, the boys in the back wow. say, ain't any power. That's why I teach him. It was left to me. I had here seven days a week. Amen. Some of these, some of y'all just did. I almost told my son, oh, must be his mind. <laughs> no, no, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You read about Jesus? Yeah. That love, amen. That's the love. Do you know what I go through because I pray for you and I live for God and stretch out all my floor for you? Do you know what I go through? Death, sickness, afflictions, you name it, it comes. But I don't receive it. It bounces off because I trust God. And when you start to trust in God, things start to move it. Amen. I didn't ask for this job. It was given to me by God. He yeah. called me. He chose me. Yeah. He appointed me. He said, do this. Yeah. Continue to do what yeah. I called you to do. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Praise yes, the Lord. Lord God. See, if I please God, I know you're going to be upset. Because you ain't pleasing him. That's true. Amen. I know you get mad at him. That's real, though. I know you feel some type of way sometimes. You know when that phone runs, you say, Pastor. At the beat, and they're gonna keep on beeping because they ain't answering. You don't know what I'm gonna talk to you about. If I'm praying and seeking God, God showed me vision and dream, and He started putting you on my heart and my mind. I'm gonna tell you. Yes. Yes. He's a man like me. I'm a God man. I know that's right. It costs me. Yes. This is what Jesus was saying here. He's saying, Father, I want to come back to you. I've given these, I taught them, I trained them, and I love them. He said, they're going to, listen, they're going to give the same message to the people. And they're going to believe them because they used to hang out together. Jesus said, I didn't hang out with them. But the ones that they're with, they hung out with me and they was transformed to you because of my love for them. Uh-huh. Father, and I am in you. Mm -hmm. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. See that 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 that, that, that listen, that we are in him. The world looks at you, they watch you, they study you. Yeah. And the first mistake you make, the first thing they say, I thought you was the Christian. And then you feel some type of way. And you'll stop doing what God had called you to do. And I see it happen so much in the church. It's so true. They down folk. Okay. She got pregnant. She ain't got a husband. You don't cast her out. Because you don't know what God birthed. We look at things the wrong way. And you always have and this going on with you. And stop that. Your job is to pray for them. Pray with them. Love them regardless. Because that could be you. We so many. Listen, listen. We judge more than the judges downtown that's licensed to judge you in the church. Each time you point one finger, you got four points back at yourself. You ain't perfect. It's perfection. And that comes through trials and tribulations. We all heard some kind of way. 
And he said, even your weak, he said, but the Holy Spirit cries out for your weaknesses, your infirmities. He said, I know you're not strong. And it's every point. That's why I'm giving you my spirit. So you can make it through me. I have given them the glory you gave me. I get that. Now, you got it. He said, I've given them the glory. I've given you. Can I take my time, Lord? Take your time, Pastor. Listen, I've given them the glory. Amen. You got it going on. That's what he's saying. Uh huh. So they may be one as we are one. The, 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 well, what he said, they be one as we are one. Me and the Father are one. He said, we are one. He said, so they can be as one. Amen. Right in here. Mm -hmm. Right in here. Mm -hmm. So get ready, women, for your women fellowship, men, Amen. for your men's fellowship. Amen. Oh yeah, and, and, and your prayer, oh coming back on Tuesday night for your prayer and your Bible study, because you need it. Amen. We're going to come up here and we're going to pray. Amen. Pray that shakes the house. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, and coming back on Friday night, Amen. hello, Amen. for healing and deliverance, Amen. sad to be rehearsals or whatever we got to do, special classes, oh yeah, other classes, homiletics, oh yeah, Amen. teaching techniques. Evangelism, all of that. Amen. I got work to do. Amen. But it's bad Amen. when you know how to work and you won't work. Come on, sir. The Bible says hell has enlarged itself. Mm -hmm. They were set for the angels, the demons. But sin <laughs> had grown so big through the believers. The hell has enlarged itself. And the question is, are you really comfortable in sin? Read. I am in them, mm -hmm. and you are in me. Hear that? It, 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 Jesus made that plain and simple. He said, I am in them, and you, Father, is in me. You see how he bless you? You see how he bless you already? Uh-huh. May they experience such perfect unity. Oh, experience perfect unity. It is amazing. I can deal with a stranger quicker than I deal with those that say they're part of this ministry. And I think that's a crying shame. Listen, I'm your leader. I go through before you go through. Half the time, do, do you not know for what, about three months? Three months, I was blind, so I'm here still preaching to y'all. Some of y'all ain't know it. Hey, Pastor, they knew who I was talking to, but I was preaching the gospel. <laughs> hey, Pastor, hey, this man, you got all right? I couldn't see. I couldn't see. You know what I'm going to say? My eyes were. But the doctor died. Look, he did an operation on both eyes. In one month, I came in on Friday night. I said, oh, that's who that is. I see who you are now. I know, oh, oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I told my son, I said, son, I appreciate you driving me around. Right and then when I got my eyes looking, because I'm driving, I can't see nothing. I'm, I'm on the other side. And I said, I, I said, isn't this amazing? Yeah. I said, I raised you, protected your eyes when you were small. And now I'm a little younger <laughs> and can't see. <laughs> I use your eyes to get me here to preach the gospel. Because I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what I'm going to do? He said, what did I tell you to do? I said, he said, you got help. I said, who? She ain't driving me. And he ain't driving because nobody drives me. But God goes in the state sometimes. And I looked at that. I said, God, I thank you. Because you changed him. And let his eyes bring me to preach to y'all. Amen. 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 Amen.
With or without glasses. I tell you. I see you now. I can tell you where your mole at on your face. Some of you ain't got names. Some of them ain't real. But anyway, that's your business. Praise the Lord. That's all right. Amen. Talk to me. Come on. Come on. I want to have him get on my hands. I know they want to hop, hop, hop. Man. Come on. May they experience such perfect unity right. that the world will know that you sent me uh -huh. and that you love them as much as you love me. Hold it there. He said that you love them much as you love me. Now, what kind of prayer is that? He wasn't selfish. He said, Father, we are one. I love you. He said, but that love that you have for me, for them, and that they may have that love that I love for you, that they may have it. Oh, well, now you see why the resurrection is so important? Yes. Yes. Come on. Uh -huh. Father, I want these whom you have given me to be with me where I am. Mm -hmm. Then they can see all the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began. Before the world began, you loved me. I want them to see about this love. And the only way you're going to get it is in his word. Amen. Through your experience. Remember, he said, persecution, trial, tribulation is going to always be there. All right. But I gave you joy. Uh-huh. Oh, righteous father, mm -hmm. the world does not know you. Cut. But I do. Oh, oh, oh. Hear that? The world don't know him. They talking about God or supreme being and all that other stuff. It, no, no, no. He's God. Amen. And he had many names. And since he had many names, his names are powerful. Amen. In Old Testament, they called him by his name. Amen. And he responded by his name. So if I call, if I call a, a brother back, I said, yo, Fred, what's up? He going to look at me, hey, Pastor, my name ain't no Fred. Mm -hmm. Call me Fred. That ain't my name. I don't like that name. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, brother, I I mean, he said, yes, Pastor. Am I making sense, somebody? Well, God, he called me by my name. And he said, when you pray, use my name. He said, what are you going to use my name? And believe when you use my name. Because there's power in his name. Yeah. What verse you at? I'm at 25th. 25th? 26th is the last one. So. Okay, okay. Come on. See, I told you, I, I, when I started, I said 17, and I said, let me go. Maybe I can go to 9, it's 10. But no, I said, go to the first one. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I said, because I want you to get the whole, get the whole thing. I don't want to give you a piece of pizza. I want you to get the whole pie. Is that all right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. The world doesn't know you, but I do. The world doesn't know you. But I do. But I do. And let me tell you something. You don't get to know who Jesus is until you meet his son. That's I'm talking about me, God, his son, Jesus, yeah. until you meet Jesus. When you meet Jesus, there's going to be a change in your life. Amen. I don't care who Amen. you are or where you come from. Amen. There's something about him. Yeah. Uh huh. And these disciples know you sent me. They know it. Uh huh. I have revealed you to them. Uh huh. And I will continue to do so. We'll stop right there. He said, I revealed them to. The, the 12 he gave me, I revealed it. Yes, I did. He said, and I will continue. What do you mean continue? Because of the simple fact I am giving it to them that they may tell the world about this message. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Then your love for me will be in them. Mm -hmm. And I will be in them. And I will be in them. That's why he rose. He rose from the dead. The earth shook. And the folk didn't understand what was happening. But he rose for me. And he rose for you. He rose for the drunk. And he rose for the junkie. He rose for the prostitute. He rose for the homosexual. He rose for the lesbian. And he rose for the poor. He rose for the rich. And he rose for the sad. He rose for the confused. He rose for the knucklehead. Seamen head. 
brickhead and the rebellious. He rose for the liar. He rose for the rejected. He rose for the blind. He rose for the lame. He rose for the hungry. And he rose for the homeless. He rose for the depressed. He rose for the oppressed. The possessed. He rose. And he rose for the hell bound. And he rose for the nasty with the teeth. And he rose for the sick. As well, he rose for the insane. He rose for the deaf and the dumb. And he rose for the nitty. And he rose for the trouble. He rose for the backslider. And he rose for the murderer. And he rose for the believer. And he rose for you. He ain't in the grave. He ain't in the grave. He ain't in the grave. First Corinthians 15, 58, go quick. And I'll take it, go quick. He got up early. He got up for you. He got up for me. He got up for even the atheists. And the atheists, they say what? They hate God and there is no God. But let one of them seat buses hit them. The first thing they're going to say, Oh God, so cries at our feet. So my dear brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. be strong and immovable. Mm, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For your labor is not in vain. Uh-huh. Always work enthusiastically mm -hmm. for the Lord. For the Lord. For you know. Be consistent in working for Him. Uh huh. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Never useless. Amen. People of God, be blessed. Amen. In my conclusion, somebody who up. Praise the Lord. Acts 1 and 11. I'm gone. We're going to hobble right on out of here. Mm -hmm. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, uh -huh. why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Why gaze up in heaven? What are you looking for? What did he say? This same Jesus, uh -huh. which is taken up from you into heaven, uh -huh. shall so come in like manner uh -huh. as you have seen. Go into heaven. In other words, he said, I'm going home, but I'm coming back. He's coming back. The rapture. Uh -huh. And when he come, listen, he ain't going to put his foot on the ground. He's going to be in the middle of the air. Yeah. And when he be in the middle of the air, he said the trumpet's going to go. And the dead in Christ is going to rise first. So if you're going down the gimbals or pay less or whatever <laughs> And you started seeing bodies started snatching up. Hold tight. If you're right, you're going with him. If you ain't, Amen. you're going to be left. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And this is something you need to cherish. Stay right with God or get right with God. Amen. He rose for this. He rose that you would have it abundantly. Amen. God said, whatever you don't beg him, ask. And he said, keep on asking. And he said, I'm going to give it to you. Amen. I hope that this message has helped you today. Yes. Yes. That you learned something from it. Yes. The resurrection. Since he got up, you got to get up. Amen. Get out of the mess. And let God do his perfect work in you. And remember, every last one of you that are believers, you have gifts and talents. That are waiting to be used by God. But God needs a body. God needs a body. And your body has been picked to be used by God. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. As the church is standing. Amen, somebody. Amen. 
keep in mind that you have been bought with a price. And that price is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. If you're not saved, the altar is waiting on you. If you want to be reclaimed, the altar is waiting on you. Yes, it's sure as we stand here, the rapture is going to take place. Ready or not.